Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the second week of March read, start from the 8th through the 14th of March, 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus, so let's see what is coming for Taurus for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards in this read, so stay tuned, and uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may not, may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that uh, resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my mail ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Taurus, let's see what can you expect in this week time, uh, starting 8th through the 14th of uh, March 2022. Let's begin. Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Justice. King of Pentacles. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you, know, you might be dealing with some sort of financial uh, situation right now where there are people involved and you have uh, been waiting for some sort of justice to come your way. Maybe you have done some work, maybe you didn't get the money for that. There is something that uh, you are waiting for to receive a justice around when it comes to your finances. Maybe you, were, uh, you have some pending checks to receive. Maybe you have some pending payments to receive maybe there is something which you are waiting for and uh, i feel like you know you are waiting for some sort of a message news coming around it um i feel like you know there there is a um i feel like you know whatever it is that you are waiting on for um this this has a lot of influence of other people so you might have to wait longer than what you would like to wait for uh, before you could get what you are waiting for financially, I feel like you know it can be some sort of uh, issues that you are having right now, getting what you want in, in finances, work, uh, money related things. Because I feel like you know monetary situation doesn't seem to be like you know promising for you right now. I feel like you know there is a lot of uh, stuff going on, and um, there is like um, so you are going to know about people talking shit about your work. Uh, you know, ethics or something. I feel like, you know, there is something going on like that, which is definitely going to affect you. Um, I feel like, you know, you have been giving yourself into this and now people are talking crap about you and it is going to be like, you know, bothering you. Let's see more cards here. Uh, two of Cups. The World. Ice of Wands. Six of uh, Swords. Wow. Um, now, for some of you, I feel like, you know, some people are there in your workplace, man, who are talking shit behind your back. Um, these people could be your colleagues. These people could be uh, your friends as well. Like, you know, the people that you call your friends, I feel like you know, people are talking shit about you right now behind your back. And while you are pursuing um, what you love, what you desire, what you want uh, in your love life, I feel like, you know, there is going to be some sort of a change major one coming for you uh, behind your back around your work life uh, for some of you you might get uh, kicked out of your job place for others of you you might have some sort of uh, legal matters to deal with when it comes to your co your your workplace i feel like you know something shitty is happening at your work front and you uh you are not there i feel like you know, there is this energy coming in as if uh, people are talking shit behind you and behind your back and I feel like, you know, you, you are unaware of it all because uh, you have given so much into these people, into these, you know, situations that you are, you know, now getting a backlash from them for nothing, actually. I feel like, you know, you have done all you could to, to get um, your job done, but you are not being appreciated there. Um, this is something that is happening behind your back for majority of you. Just be careful with whatever that goes on in your workplace just be very careful around it now coming towards um coming towards your love life i feel like you know uh, uh for some of you you might be going on a holiday trip you might be going on a on a uh, you know on a uh, family trip you might be you know traveling to see your person you might be traveling to uh enjoy some good time with your with the with the one that you love but you have no idea what is happening at work front behind your back now, I feel like, you know, work-wise, it's not going to be an ideal situation when it comes to your love life situation. I do see that it's going to be beautiful. Like, you know, you are going to have a, 
uh, you know, the best time of your life with the one that you love, with the one that you care for. And uh, for some of you, you might uh, choose to, um, to kind of, uh, you know, um, travel away from the world just to spend some quality time with this person. But I do see you struggling at work situation during this week time. Let's see more. Wow. Beautiful. Now, Taurus, if, if you have been somebody um, who has been given so much into their work, ignoring love, I feel like you know now is the time and you're breaking free. You don't care what shit is going on in your work front. You don't care. Even if they are talking shit behind your back, you're not going to go to them. You're not going to listen to them. You might switch your phone off. You don't want to talk to them. I feel like you know you are having this uh, weak time for your love life. You are reserving it for your love life. I do see that. You are not going to care. If you have a loss of money, you are not going to give a shit to that. You know one thing, that your love is your top priority right now and you are pursuing it like crazy. And I feel like you know there is a lot of obsession. Maybe you have always been like this uh, when it comes to your work as well. But now, when you are taking your time off from your work, you don't want it. You want this person, whoever it is that you're spending some quality time with. And I feel like you know this person could be the one uh, that you're designed to be with because I do see that there is a lot of love and you're pursuing this person because you feel that there is a solid connection that you have for them. Um, I feel like you know for majority of you, you have ignored this person uh, because of your work, because of your work responsibilities. Uh, maybe you were living away from them as well for, for your work as well. But I feel like you know this person had been very stable uh, around this connection. They had been like a strong faith, uh, you know, coming from them. They always be felt like, you know, or gave you the energy that they belong to you. They never moved on from you. So there is a lot of, uh, you know, trust that you have on this person, on this connection. And I see that you are going to spending the quality time with this person in this week time. A lot is going to be happening in your life behind the curtains, which you are unaware of. And a lot is happening in your love life, which you are definitely enjoying uh, during this uh, week time. So uh, let's see what the divine message has to add for you guys for this week time. What is going on? Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic you know, romantic gesture. Now, again, like I said earlier, I do see you expressing your love. You're, you're, you are not going to be like, you know, focus on to anything else but the one that you are spending your quality time with and you are definitely in love with this person um when you are with them you are with definitely only them and you don't want to deal with anything else um forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments i feel like you know um for some of you you might have recently experienced some sort of um um cheat fraud at your work front where you gave so much to someone and now you're feeling like you know you wasted your time and that's why you are coming towards the one that you love because you don't want to lose this person because you thought that you will be appreciated you will be like you know cherish and that is not happening i feel like you, know, you are going to learn from the experience that you've had and you are now understanding that um this person, this situation in your love life is more important than anything else for you right now. For some of you, you might be getting into, you know, some legal uh, trouble because of uh, you understanding what has happened there at your work front. But at the same time, you're not going to give a shit to that. You, you know you have to deal with it. You don't want to lose the person who has been very faithful to you. So I do see that. Um, so it's going to be a very um, stressful uh, for some of you. Uh, to deal with the tension that is coming up for you for your work work life or financial life or maybe monetarily i do see that there will be something happening there but uh, as long as you have this person you're not gonna lose your calm because i feel like you know this person keeps you grounded this person keeps you happy and you that's all you need right now life force express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased you will be spending a lot of quality time. Maybe for some of you, if you are married or if you are not, you might be choosing to have a private ceremony where you get married to this person and then you have some a lot of uh, you know, sexual time spent together. Um, your protected codes are being cut, moved beyond limitation, trust. I feel like you know, for some of you, you are cutting ties with your work situations right now and you're just moving towards what you want with this person. 
um, and maybe your, your work life had become so much toxic for you to deal with that cutting cords was necessary for you to have some good times, fun times back in your life. So I feel like you know, that is definitely happening in the sweet time for you in, uh, in your love life. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it helped you, do like, share and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.